key visual element that we hadn't expected to get was actually the cape and the way the cape blows in the wind as he drives. We had devised with Lindy Hemming a backpack shape that the cape could fold up into using the, the memory fabric idea from the first film. Originally, every time he rode the bike, we were going to use that backpack shape because we felt that the cape would immediately get caught in the rear tire and pull the rider off. But as Chris and his guys started to test the running of the bike with the costume on, they found that, in fact, it picks up the, the wind right away and it never actually got caught in the wheel. And I was delighted about this because I think there's something about the image of the cape flapping riding the bike that really makes it Batman, makes it what it needs to be. And we were able to get stunning footage of the Bat Pod. Once again, we shot most of it off of the ultimate arms. We were able to swing the camera in front and behind, up and down, all around the Bat Pod, and really get some stunning footage, particularly on their lower whacker again. We photographed most of the Bat Pod work in IMAX, too. So we had to stay pretty wide because it's long and the IMAX format is tall, and it's just stunning on camera, I think. It's, a, it's just, it's a really sexy machine. For the uh, motorbike part of the chase, we did a lot of footage mounting an IMAX camera to the front of a motorbike. Very unwieldy thing for the, the operator to drive, but we were able to get some, some really great shots following the bat pod and sort of go through the events of the chase with it. I think this kind of action, this kind of chase is most interesting when you're really feeling what the characters are feeling, you're really passing through the action subjectively.